golden. I'll follow only golden. 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 Golden things. Hello and welcome to and welcome back to my sewing channel. I'm Emma and this is so do Emma. Welcome if you're new here and if you're returning back. Hello. Nice to see you again. So oh it's been a week, if not ten days or more. I'm sorry. Um life as you know it just gets sometimes crazy and we just have to go with it unfortunately but i have been busy <laughs> with life and all that jazz but I, I did manage to do a teeny amount of sewing and i've got a wee bit of news to share with you don't worry it's no bad <laughs> It's good actually. It's good stuff. So what have I been sewing? So yesterday, which was Sunday, I went to the March Sotun, the beautiful and a legend of a lady, Tamlin or Son on the Tyne, um host Sotun in Newcastle. So I travelled down on Saturday, stayed overnight um at the magical person <laughs> house she knows who she is so big thank you for putting me up um yes i'm being correct right here because i don't want this person to be under any pressure to host loads of people when they're up or down from the country if you're in newcastle so yes so anywho big thank you um so right <laughs> we're at Soton so stayed overnight had lovely nibbles it was nice and light had an okay sleep <laughs> I think I was tired after driving and tired after not having a good night's sleep the night before driving down and then yeah i think it was a wee bit warm and all that jazz yeah becoming a middle-aged woman is so much fun <laughs> uh yeah so we grabbed our breakfast at costa which was nice i chose a plant-based cheese and ham toasty and it was actually okay i.e vegan toasty vegan ham vegan cheese yeah it was actually just tasty Thumbs up if you're vegan. Close to coffees. Vegan toasty is actually quite nice. And a chai tea latte. Completely um, copied someone. <laughs> I met um, Lynn, Tamlin's mum at Costa. It was a lovely little surprise. So we all had coffees or chai tea lattes and um, toasties. And... Yeah, it was nice just before we set off for a sotun on the Sunday and yeah, so I was ready to go and bought a couple of projects in mind to sotun. So one was a pyjama top. Now this, you would probably not think pyjama top if you were looking at the pattern, but it's the closet core tee or the core tee it's a free pattern so if you're doing so through girl this is a good one to look up oh yes so i can't remember if you've got to be a newsletter subscriber to get this but yeah sign up for it if you like it so it's a lovely little boat neck top it's wide top wide neck top and i did it in a cotton jersey and i had this um ribbing doesn't quite match up with it but it's a pyjama top because there's a story coming up so I, I got made up put in a wee night night label now these are cute as one cute as one or cute as two too cute a proper yeah 
Um, these are from them. And they do a wee range of labels and they're really nice quality as well. I think they've got an Etsy store as well. I'm not quite sure. Cute as a pair, that's it. <sighs> Dear me. I'm still, I'm still tired. Um, should get that checked out. But I think I've just overdone it this weekend. But hey, ho, it's been a lovely weekend. So I'll turn it inside. I did wear this last night to... Um, Test it, see if it fits, and this one really fits well. Um, I can't remember what size. I mean, I must have did the size twenty, and then um, graded out to the hips to probably a size twenty eight. It's got a nice positive ease to it as well, and the sleeves are really nice and fitted as well. It really the the bus stars are just lovely. Um, where they are, which is good because I eyeballed it at um, Soden. Um, yes, um, I did record a little video of me putting in the label, which I'll insert in this bit here for you to see. And um, you can see Tamlin working in the background <laughs> very, very roughly. <laughs> you couldn't tell if it was Tamlin if I didn't tell you, but anywho, so. <sighs> I think I showed you this fabric before and I'm pretty sure I've showed you this plan before but this is the Fran PJs and this is the bottoms of the Fran PJs. Now the Fran PJs are a relatively new pattern from Closet Core, not the newest one but this is on the main range, not the club. Just to be sure. Now I'll show you this. This is the Fran shirt and I did the bottom. I haven't done the shirt because this bottoms and the top go quite nice together and I'll pop in a wee couple of photos just so you can see what they look like on me with a wee video as well. But anyway the French pyjamas now come in a slightly different size range this is called the alpha size range now there must be a blog post regarding the alpha size range from closet court and how it's different um i can't remember off the top of my head but because my memory is cack so the new alpha size range is extra extra small to 4x now the fuel bus bus goes from a 31 inch to a 60 inch the waist goes from a 24 inch to a 53 inch and the hip goes from a 33 inch to a 62 inch so really good size range on that one now i would say the bottoms are quite big and they're very long now i'm pretty sure i took some of the bottoms bottom bit of the hem and i definitely need to um um take even more off the bottom so yeah so um there's a good four inches that i need to take off because it is dragging on the floor as you can see on the photos on and the video but yes um i did a let's see according to my measurements i would have done um a 3x to a 4x easily um yeah and i'm really really happy with it um i did add some fabric on the bum area so it would bigger like hug but looking at it i don't think i needed to um yes so that was really good um i noticed that i'm going to have to take a huge chunk of an elastic out even more than this i'm probably gonna have to take this i mean oh, for it just to stay up around my waist i don't worry i will use the fabric the elastic on something else so that's good yes so i'm fighting with the light here so if i start speeding up and talking 
So once um I did the try the PJ bottoms before the week before the last week in February and then I did the pajama top, the core tee, um yesterday at Sultan. Now I finished the pajama top maybe about four hours. I just took my time, I was enjoying the sew and I was enjoying stopping and starting, chatting to other sewers. So like Dottie aka Ali was there, Lynn, um Tamil's mum <laughs> um Lions with Love um who else was there? I miss Granny Linda. I hope I see you at me. Hello, Granny Linda. <laughs> um, and there was loads of other folk as well. So, hello. I'm crap with names. We're going to start have to wear name badges. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Until I remember names. Because I'm crap. But it was so lovely to see some regular faces. And uh, spend the day with you. It was lovely. It was really, really lovely. So, I finished the pyjama top <laughs> and then I started we're, go we're gonna laugh here <sighs> on the Piatra pants now a year ago I don't know if to the day me Tamlin and then oh I just watched the video Adele <laughs> what um decided to do a collaboration now we did the um Pietra top trousers and we decided to do the silo top now I think we all did the silo top definitely me and Tamlin did the silo top I think um anyway we all like the silo top but me and Tamlin not quite sure, Adele. Adele, hmm, I don't know. I can't remember what exactly happened, but we all failed massively on the Pietro pants. And it's taken me a year to actually start sewing them. I had them cut out for ages. Absolute ages. I got this beautiful study, um cotton twill from the rag shop, which is sadly no shut. Steph had a brilliant eye for some fabrics. So this is a Cerise um, bright pink, <laughs> Barbie bright pink uh, cotton twill. Now I did see the very similar cotton twill in Cerise in um, Jenny Stitches when she was showing the new fabrics on the Friday Live just last Friday. So yes, this is quite a good match. So if you really like the pink um jenny stitches has it if you're looking for something in the uk i'm pretty sure it's the same fabric uh, so as you can see you can see the weave i got it took me a minute or two or three minutes or maybe more like 10 and a lot of chatting to myself to figure out the pockets is that the right me? Is that actually the right me? Oh, I think that's the right me. Oh, oh, what's happened here? Why is that not? Okay, I don't know what's happened here, but but anyway, that is the pockets in. So I did the pockets. So I'm going to overlock it and make sure it's all nice before um, I sew anymore. Because that was my problem. I didn't have my overlocker. Uh, yes. So that was really good. Hopefully they'll fit. Because um, I've not added any more room on the bottom bit. <sighs> Let's hope I don't regret that. <laughs> so whilst that's sorting... Tamlin has a donation table so you can um, donate some money for P 
pieces of fabric and the donations go to charity. Um, yes, yeah, so I saw this and I thought this would make an absolutely brilliant Jackson um, for myself or hubby. And now I showed this to hubby and then he said he likes it so I'm going to make it for him. It is a sweater fleece. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so this will become it's quite a bit of fabric here. I wonder if there's more. If there's any left, then I'll probably get sleeves or something. Who knows? But yes, I'm going to make the Jackson pull over for Powell. Might even try and make the hoodie for him. Would that be too much? But what I'm going to do is try and get either the green, this green, or this green off the trees. Sorry, it's upside down. <laughs> Took me a minute for that one, didn't it? Uh, the trees would be a brilliant colour for the ruin. So if I'm doing the standard Jackson pullover, then it will be the neckline here, the cuffs and the hemline. Or if it was a hoodie, it wouldn't be the neckline, but it would be for the cuffs and the hemline. So, yes. Now, didn't buy that. That was a donation bot. And unfortunately, there was no first for fabrics trip yesterday. So that saved me a few pennies. However, I've still been spending money. You gotta. So, um, I'll show you the fabric first. So I bought you, bought me some of this beautiful viscose from um, Lamazi. Um, I saw this on Lamazi Fabrics YouTube video. Charlene, who does the socials for Lamazi, and makes up lots and lots of beautiful beautiful garments to wear and show off the Lamazi fabrics and um, yeah she showed this I think her mum picked this one up and I thought I'm not a big sucker for Paisley but this is kind of watercolour and this would be absolutely beautiful in a summer dress so I might do that that was bought in February so I could technically use that for so frugal. It's not a brand new. It's been a moustache for a wee while. Um, and then I've been buying some paper patterns. Now, this might be a surprise. I don't have kids. But I have oh, I can show you. I can show you fabric. I have bought one of Little Rosy Cheeks uh, pattern. Now this is a Mizzy dress. Now the beautiful So Amelia um, showed her version of the Mizzle dress. Mizzle, Mizzle dress. Um, and it was absolutely adorable. Now we have a friend who has a wee girl down in London and I would like to make her something. I'm really bad for all my other friends who have kids and have not sewn them in. So I would like to put my crafty skills together, my sewing skills together and actually make something. Now, the difference with this classic t-shirt dress, um, it's a one piece wonder. Um, it's meant to be a wardrobe staple and guaranteed to keep you twirling with an eye catch and pleat the black sheet of a jersey top half and the woven bottom half makes this a super comfortable and versatile dress. The short and long sleeve options allow this pattern to grow with you through the season. Now, uh, uh, when I kind of pulled out the fabrics, you you know why? Just two seconds. They're just over there. If I fall, my sewing room is a disaster. Their own. So, do excuse the clumsy man. Okay, 
press is inverted. So, for the top, the jersey, is this. Um, this was in my stash. It's a remnant of a Monero's dress from a long, long time ago. I still have it. I think I need to fix it in something. And then I saw this and I thought this would be a brilliant skirt because like, 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 I know red and green should not be seen except in either screen, but those are meant to be broken. So, see the red? <gasps> Match it beautifully. So, this top and this is the skirt. But, so, I cannot wait to get cracking on this. The only snag is I'm going to um trace the age because she is age i'm going to go with four to five rather than three to four uh, yeah unless there's a some significant amount of ease in the three to four i really would like to to get most of the wear and it's quite a sort of did I say Christmassy vibe fabric fabrics? Um, I'll see what our mum says, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. So that is that. Then I got some labels, one of the new ones, and just changed up the handmade ones. I've, I've got a funny feeling I'm going for the handmade labels at the moment and then because I ordered she put something really really sweet so I think I might make this into a pencil case so this is a heat transfer um label sticker um so I might make a plain pencil case and put this on the front yeah and then give it as a gift yeah. and then the lovely little message with a wee complimentary label with the order so that's not all the um the orders that happen i got another order from the fold line now, I couldn't help myself because the most recent pattern from Closet Court is the Drena shirt dress. Now, I think Sumi's so on the time is actually shown this, but I am absolutely loving this Drena shirt dress and I've ordered some denim. So I think I'll be making the Jenna, Jenna shirt dress up very quickly because that looks really comfortable. Fabric requirements for view C. Oh. oh. <laughs> right, okay. It says five meters. I've not got five meters. I did not order five meters. So I might try and do squeeze it out of four meters. <laughs> I'm hoping. We'll see. Um it might be quite long, so if I shorten it I might be able to save it. And plus I suppose it would have put the pocket on. <sighs> but it's really nice line drawings and it's in the new alpha size range as well as well as that i got the fan paper pattern as well <sighs> it's so nice to get closet core patterns in paper form as well yeah. i'm pretty sure i've got more paper patterns maybe on the way did i did I click bait that one? Perhaps. Oh, I don't know. Ah, maybe I did. Who knows? But that is a nice little recap of what I've been up to. Um, 
I hope you're all well. Let me know what you're sewing up at the moment. How are you? Um, what are you doing? Um, how was your weekend? Yeah, comment below, um, a like and also subscribe. I'm going to be back very shortly with another video. Um, it's going to be kicking off my video on the 11th for So Frugal. <laughs> Along with so many other beautiful, lovely and wonderful sewing vloggers out there. You know who you are. Um, yeah, take care. Ta -ta. Thank you.